The wait is over, the curtain is lifted, and the biggest show in the universe is finally here. The whole universe from the past 13.8 billion years is ready to give us a spectacle of a lifetime. Wait, that's not right. We should say spectacles. A dream in making since 1989. James Webb Space Telescope's six-month-long process of preparation, including deploying, commissioning, and testing, is finally complete. NASA is ready to release the first full-color web images, which is a massive improvement over Hubble, with its amazing depth and sharp details. Welcome to Space Telescope, and it's time for science like never before. Today, let's find out what to expect from the first set of full-color images from the James Webb Space Telescope. The largest and most complex observatory ever to be launched in space is finally ready to yield its first crop of results. After a careful process of calibrating its instruments to its space environment and aligning its mirrors, the Space Telescope has finally prepared the first set of its finest efforts called SPECTRA. We already have seen SPECTRA's teaser when the White House and NASA presented the deepest and sharpest infrared image of the distant universe to date, now popularly known as Webb's first deep field. When compared to the image taken by Hubble of the same slice of the universe, one can see why the James Webb Space Telescope was worth the wait. Looking at the difference is like someone has got their myopia and color blindness cured in one procedure. The subject of both images is a galaxy cluster called SMACS 0723, as it appeared 4.6 billion years ago. In the case of Webb's first deep field image, the landscape of space is overflowing with gorgeous and awe-inspiring imagery of thousands of galaxies. Even the faintest of the subjects are visible in the image in the infrared for the first time. In our sky, the vast cluster of galaxies hardly covers the size of a grain of sand held at arm's length by someone on the ground. And now we are able to look at it in breathtaking detail. This was made possible by Webb's near-infrared camera, which took images at different wavelengths for over 12 and a half hours to create this astonishing composite. We can expect the rest of Webb's first full-color images to offer a never-seen experience of this marvelous universe we live in and yet know very little of it. To decide what should be the first set of subjects for the James Webb Space Telescope, the finest brains of NASA, European Space Agency, and Canadian Space Agency argued and pondered for over five years. The goal of this set of images and data was to both showcase the telescope's powerful instruments and to preview the science mission to come. These images will feature distant worlds and far-flung galaxies from every corner of the observable universe. Primary subjects of spectra set of images and data are expected to be Carina Nebula, Southern Ring Nebula, Stephen's Quintet, located in the Pegasus constellation, the spectrum of exoplanet, and gas giant WASP-96b. And of course, the subject of Webb's deep field, SMACS-0723. Since the reveal of Webb's deep field, everybody is holding their breath to expect amazing details in the rest of the images and data from the spectra set. But the fun part is, Nobody is ready to put their money on predicting exactly how the first images will look and what fascinating information they would offer. This is an unprecedented occasion. We have never been able to see far corners of the universe so up close and personal as we saw SMACS 0723 for the first time. STSCL's lead science visual developer Joseph de Pascal explains that of course, Everybody has expectations and hopes about what things we are about to see because of the list of subjects that were selected for this set. But the sharpness and intricacy of Webb's infrared view have left everybody speechless. Also, imagery is just one aspect of spectra. The other is the spectroscopic data. Spectroscopic data is the detailed information that astronomers can extract from light itself. This is where the James Webb Space Telescope becomes more than just an observatory. It becomes a time machine. 
With the help of this data, the astronomers would be able to study the early universe, the evolution of galaxies through time, the life cycle of stars, and if possible, life on the other planets. This new revolutionary piece of technology will also allow the astronomy of our solar system to supermassive black holes. From exoplanets to the large-scale structure of the universe, the James Webb Space Telescope would be able to peer back over 13.5 billion years and observe the first stars and galaxies forming out of nothing in the early universe. Also, how did galaxies evolve over time? Astronomers would be able to draw a comparison between young and old galaxies to solve that riddle. Unlike Hubble, JWST would be able to see right through and into massive clouds of dust that are opaque to observatories like the Hubble and give us a detailed look at how and where stars and planetary systems are born. Moreover, its observation capacity extends to exoplanets and configures their atmosphere. According to the web program scientist at NASA headquarters in Washington, Eric Smith, as we near the end of preparing the observatory for science, we are on the preface of an incredibly exciting period of discovery about our universe. The release of Webb's first full-color images will offer a unique moment for us as to stop and marvel at a view humanity has never seen before. These images will be the culmination of decades of dedication, talent, and dreams, but they will also be just the beginning. This isn't wrong, given how much money, resources, and time has been invested into this observatory. Not to mention the hard work of hundreds of brilliant men who made space look so close that we can feel like we can touch it by extending our arms. After years of work that started in 1996 on paper and construction began in 2004, everybody held their breath, watching the telescope deploy its mirrors, including the 21-foot gold-coated primary mirror in January 2022. Then began the six-month-long process of mirror alignment powered on its instruments, kicked off multiple instrument alignment, and moved on to commissioning the observatory's four powerful science instruments. As a result, the greatest show in the universe is ready for us. What can we expect JWST to accomplish in the near future? Well, as an enthusiastic and eccentric student of chemistry, Jesse Pinkman once said to his teacher, Yeah, science. Pretty much that's what everybody is expecting of James Webb Space Telescope. After the release of its first album, Spectra, Webb Telescope will begin its scientific observations. What astronomers are calling JWST's first cycle, the telescope would explore a selection of the general observer programs. These programs range from stellar physics to population to interstellar and intergalactic medium, from distant galaxies to space dust. Yes, JWST is ready to give us an unprecedented look at one of the tiniest components of our universe, a special kind of space dust polycyclic aromatic hydrocarbons could shed new light on some big processes, such as the formation and evolution of stars and galaxies. Apparently one of the most abundant types of molecules in space, they have been found everywhere we have pointed our telescopes in space. In some of the earliest galaxies and in gas clouds where stars form, even in our neighborhood, the atmosphere of Saturn's moon, Titan. These paws come in size of a large family in which all molecules have a structure like chicken wire or a lattice work of hexagons that are organized in different patterns. With Webb's fantastic resolution, we would be able to classify them into smaller sunsets to reveal how paws form and evolve in very different astronomical environments. And that will allow us to unravel the photophysics and chemistry that drive how star forming structures arise and explain the remarkable diversity of objects we observe, from exoplanets and stars to galaxies. The future is looking darn exciting. Tell us in the comments what part of the universe you are most excited for JWST to explore. And as always, thanks for watching Space Telescope. Subscribe and click the bell to see more videos like this in the future. Please do share and like the video if you enjoyed it.